The league best 67 and 43 Cleveland Indians were taken on the Baltimore Orioles, a game below 500, and in third place in the American League East. Today we are in Progressive Field. The Indians are at home, and it is Corey Kluber's return, 9 and 1 with a 1.46 ERA and 73 strikeouts before he landed on the DL, and he is going to pick up his ace-like season right where he left off this is Alejandro de Aza, second batter of the game and he swings right through that the first batter Jose Reyes tried to lay down a bunt on the first pitch of the game and was thrown out Steve Pierce now goes down swinging here in the second inning and much of the same comes from former Indian Lonnie Chisenhall three strikeouts in the first two innings for Corey Kluber Josh Johnson enjoying a renaissance season of his career was on the mound for the Baltimore Orioles today and he had his stuff just like Corey Kluber did. Carlos Santana swings through that one right there. And the next batter for us will be Jan Gomes, 2-2. And he swings at that high fastball. So the Indians fooled by Josh Johnson today. It's the fourth inning now. And the Baltimore Orioles are going to get their first base runner of the game here. As Alejandro De Aza takes that one out deep to center. Ben Revere couldn't quite get there in time. But he fields it off the wall very well. Holding De Aza, not the fleetest of foot to a double and then Steve Pierce would strike out with Deaza on third being moved over and then Lonnie Chisenhall did much of the same and now we are going to have a chance in the bottom of the fourth and Brandon Moss is going to draw a walk right there so he gets on base for Carlos Santana with a 2-1 count he's going to line that one through the middle of the infield and get two runners on with only one out in the inning Jan Gomes 1-0 count he is going to fly this one deep. It's going to advance Brandon Moss. He's going to try on the throw, but Adam Jones comes in firing. It's going to be close at third base, and they call him out. I don't think the tag was in time. That's just me, but Francisco Lindor is up to bat now in the bottom of the sixth inning with Josh Johnson still on the mound up to 73 pitches, and Francisco Lindor is going to hit a line drive right there. It lands out in right center, and so that puts a runner on first base. For the next batter, Michael Brantley with an 0-0 count and one runner on. And he's first pitch swing, and that goes all the way out to left center. And the Indians are actually going to hold Lindor at third. Probably could have sent him home, but the relay throw was really good. And they didn't want to take any unnecessary risks. And then Carlos Santana would strike out with all the runners on and two outs, and then Jan Gomes would line out right to the third baseman with the bases loaded. Cody Allen came on to pitch the ninth. Nothing would happen until then, and he came on to pitch the ninth even though it wasn't a safe situation because you want your best reliever up in that kind of situation, and Steve Pierce would take him deep off the wall in left center. A home run in most parks, but Progressive has that high wall, so saves a home run right there, and it gives the Baltimore Orioles an opportunity, but Lonnie Chisenhall Lines out right there. One of the men who replaced him on his roster was Francisco Lindor. Danny Salazar came into the game, and he pitched a solid seven innings of work as it's the bottom of the 17th now before Giovanni Urshela gets on. And that is going to be thrown over to first. That was the first base runner of extra innings. And so David Murphy would swing at that wild pitch right there in the dirt. That would make it a 2-2 count for him with a runner on second. And he is going to line that one into right field. Urshela, not the fastest player in baseball. And we are going to hold him. And it would prove to be good as Ben Revere hits that one into right field. And that ends it in 17 innings. The Indians come out one to nothing. A great game for the pitching staff. A very disappointing game. A lot of batting averages going down. I can feel it. But that wraps it up. A 1-0 win by the Indians, very close game. Thank you guys for watching, and stay tuned for the next episode of Indians Baseball on the show.